Hey guys, it's Lenny and welcome back to the channel. So today in this video, I'm going to show you another God Mode glitch. Now this God Mode glitch is a lot easier, or I believe it's a lot easier than the last one. A lot of you guys are struggling when, like basically to hit it without being frozen. So this God Mode glitch, I believe is easier. I hit it twice, pretty much two times in a row. And it doubles as a off the radar glitch. Okay, so you can see that I'm off the radar. I think so I'm at the casino, but I'm actually at the beach. Um, God mode, and also you can buy all of the casino clothing from the clothing stores. So that means you can actually purchase all the casino clothing with real money. Um, with real money, I mean like in-game money, and you don't have to use the casino chip. So you can basically buy everything that the casino has to offer with your GTA dollars. Okay. Okie dokie, so we're going to get into the glitch now. Now, PS4 only, I'm afraid, I'm sorry. Um, you need to own the casino, you need to own the penthouse garage. Now, you need to download this job, okay? I'll, it will be linked in the description. It's only for PlayStation 4. I'm sorry, Xbox guys. Um, yeah, I just don't have a job for Xbox. If it becomes available, it will be pinned in the comments. But um, yeah, only for PlayStation 4 at the moment. Now what we have to do is we have to walk into the yellow circle. Just before we get into the yellow circle we need to hit right d-pad on the guest services. But we need our character to continue walking into the yellow circle after we have right d-pad up with this guest services. So as you can see, um, I'm struggling to start off with because this, this is literally the first time I tried it. And I wasn't too sure exactly how it worked. but. Um, I get the gist of it in a second here. I'm going to slow the gameplay down so you guys can actually see what is actually happening. You basically want to be walking at the table on more of an angle that I am. Okay, so I'm walking too, not too shallow. Um, you need to be pressing right D-pad on guest services. Your character needs to continue walking into the yellow circle. So I actually get it here. And you see how I had the guest services come up as my character walked into the yellow, but it went away because my character was facing away from the desk. So you sort of need to find the happy medium where your character's facing the desk. You're walking in, you have the right D-pad for guest services, so I slowed gameplay down. I'm walking in, I've hit right D-pad, my character's still facing the table. I'm in the yellow circle now. I'm in the perfect position, and I can continue on. Now this part, this is where we're going to use our penthouse garage. Now in our penthouse garage you just want to have a vehicle store. It doesn't matter what vehicle it is. So we can use it. Now go down to valet services once you have this up. As soon as you select valet services you want to use the penthouse garage. I haven't tried the um, parking, that just normal parking garage. I've only used the penthouse garage so the parking garage may work but I don't know. I haven't tried the other one. As soon as you have the vehicles up in your penthouse garage, you, what you need to do is select a vehicle and select right D-pad at the exact same time. As soon as you do that, you're going to go into a black screen. As soon as you get that black screen, you want to be spamming the triangle button. Okay? What's happening is you're loading under the map and the invalid job is going to kick you. You're going to be under the map. You won't see yourself. You might see it. But as um, soon as you spam triangle, you're going to hop out of the vehicle under the map and then you will be floating down under the map and then you eventually you will land on the surface like on the road okay so if that makes sense you yeah all you need to do is walk into the yellow circle have the right d-pad option for guest services as you're walking into the table hit that so the menu comes up your character continue walking and stops in the yellow circle and then you use the valet services go into parking garage select a vehicle not parking garage, sorry, penthouse garage, select a vehicle, right deep at the exact same time. As so, soon as you do that, get, you get the black screen and spam the triangle button to hop out of the vehicle. So right now, I'm in god mode, I'm off the radar. Now I'm going to show you what not to do. Okay, this glitch will unglitch you if you hop into a vehicle. So don't hop into a vehicle. If you want to use this for whatever you want to do, um, just be mindful that every god mode glitch that you use, there is a chance of being reported if people work out what you're doing. So be careful of that. I'm basically promoting this, showing this god mode for the purposes of glitching. So, yeah, uh, just be careful with it. But as you can see, as I hopped in the vehicle, it basically gave me the animation of walking out of the casino and it unglitched me. So take two, walk over to the desk, right D-pad on guest services. 
I'm in the yellow circle, go to valet services, go to penthouse garage, select a vehicle, write d at the exact same time as I select a vehicle, then spam the triangle button. And there we go. That was literally the second time that I hit it in a row, um, after failing by hopping in that vehicle. So it's, it is going to be a lot easier, I believe, than the last one. I didn't struggle with the last one, a lot of you guys did, so um, hopefully this works out a lot better for you guys that struggled. Now, if you want to purchase the casino clothing with the GDA dollars instead of using chips, uh, make your way over to the clothing store. So you won't be able to sort of see your minimap that well, but it'll give you an indication of where the clothing stores are when you're walking up to them. And all you need to do is just go over to the like areas where the shirts are, shorts are, sunglasses, accessories, and hats. Um, you'll see in a second here. I've gone over to the shirt section and as you can see here I go into dresses because it's a female character and I all the casino dresses are here. Okay? They're not normally here because they are these these items are generally at the casino. So I'm just gonna make my way and just purchase every bit of clothing just so I have it unlocked. And I don't have to use chips for the glitch. Like juice chips, sorry, just to purchase all this stuff. So there's a, quite a few things, um, when you're in this state, you don't actually have the option to purchase normal clothing as well, so you can only purchase the casino stuff, which is, you know, it's pretty awesome in that way that you can just buy all the casino stuff. You don't have to worry about getting the chips to, like, buy it and unlock it. So I'll run through everything that I know of. If there's anything I've missed, please, um, if you know of something else, please leave a comment in the comment section and just so everyone can take advantage of it. And even me, I might go back on and jump on and do it again if I've missed something. But, um, yeah, I've purchased all the tops. I'm going to make my way over to this, the pants section. Um, you can tell once I go hit right D-pad on the pants that the option, there's not many options for pants, so you can see that the, origi the, ori like, the original stuff that's in the shops is not there. Glasses, just purchase all the glasses. I'm going to go over to the hats. I'm going to purchase all the hats. So a lot of the hats are just the same, they're just backwards and forwards facing, so I worked that out when I got halfway through. Um, the shoes, there's only two categories for shoes for the casino, so I purchased all them. And the accessories. Buy the earrings, watches and whatnot. I think altogether I spent around about five or six million dollars worth of the cas like buying all the casino stuff. So if you have the money and you want to yeah, take advantage of it, definitely do it because these glitches are few and far between. We had a glitch like this a little while ago, but um, obviously glitches get patched. So yeah, take advantage of it. Now, I'm not gonna show me running all the way over to the beach to the mask store. I'm gonna cut the gameplay out and run all the way over here and I'm gonna purchase all of the masks. Now, once you do all this, they stay unlocked, they're yours. Um, yeah, so. Definitely take advantage of it if you are into this sort of stuff. I did this and like, I just wanted to see how the god mode worked, if it was better than the last one, and I realized that you could do this with this method. There is a dupe attached to this method as well, I will leave a link in the description about that. If I get a chance, I will make my own video on it, but um, ModBeep has made a video. It's pretty self-explanatory, and um, yeah, I'll leave that linked in the description. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, um, definitely take advantage, and we'll see you in the next video.